You may have seen the headlines around the case against performance reviews and how they are a colossal waste of time and therefore we need to drop them all together. Well, this is a perfect opportunity for me to demonstrate how our accountability model can transform your thinking around this so that your team can take accountability. The accountability model that we use is de-weaponizing accountability and empowering the employee. We define accountability as a personal choice to focus on what you can control. And the four steps to taking accountability are see it, own it, solve it, do it. You may have heard about this in the book, The Oz Principle, that was written over 30 years ago and is still selling thousands of copies a month. Well, first we see it. To see it is to identify the obstacles. What I see is that a lot of people, let's pretend I am that person, think that there's no value in performance reviews. It's a waste of our time. Nobody wants to do it. We've got too much work to do anyway. The second step is own it. And that is to ask yourself the question, what do I control or what can I impact in this situation? Well, I can't impact or control whether or not we're doing performance reviews. I can't impact or control the system that we use for performance reviews, but I can impact or control the value of the conversations, the value of the conversations that exist when I'm meeting with my teammate to do a performance review. Okay, that's within the scope of my control. Let's focus there. Then we talk about solve it. Solve it is what else can I do? And then I like to push people and say, imagine your life was on the line. What else could you do to impact this obstacle? Well, I guess I could get together a group of a few people that are also leaders in my team who feel frustrated with performance reviews and have a little talking session about how to make them more valuable when we're having our conversations, regardless of the system and the competencies and all the things I hate about them. Great. We'll do it. The final step of accountability is do it. Who is going to do what by when? I'm going to set up a meeting with four other managers that I know hate performance reviews to talk about how we can make our conversations more meaningful. Suddenly, what I've just done is made a personal choice to focus on what I can control, to see it, own it, solve it, do it. And instead of talking about how much I hate performance reviews at the water cooler or on LinkedIn, I'm actually going to create a difference for not only my team, but a bunch of other people as well. That's the take accountability model that we use to de-weaponize the idea of accountability at work.